Shalom from Yerushalayim. Leil Seder is a celebration of Yitzias Mitzrayim. In Halacha, Yitzia takes place with two distinct movements. One is called Akira and the other is Hanacha. Take for example in Hilchah Shabbos. If a person is moving an object from one domain to another, let's say from Rosh Hayachid to Rosh Hasharabim, there are two distinct movements that need to be done in order to affect a full hotza. The first is that from the Rishas HaYachid, a person picks up the object, that's called an act of Akira, of uprooting the object from its place. And the full act of Hotza is really not complete until after going outside into the Rishas HaRabim, the object is placed down on the floor or some other surface, which is the act of Hanacha, of putting the object down. When it comes to Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the Svar Makadoshim explained that the same thing is true. In order to really affect the Jewish people's exodus from Egypt, there's really two parts. Just leaving Mitzrayim is the first part, and that's sufficient of taking the Jewish people out of physical slavery, but to actually be motzi am Yisrael from Mitzrayim, an act of true hotza, of Yitzias Mitzrayim, there needs to be two distinct movements. The first is the movement out of Mitzrayim, which is the Akira from Mitzrayim. But a little bit, even if you take the Jewish people out of Mitzrayim, there's still the Mitzrayim that's inside of every single Jew. The second act, the act of Hanacha, really doesn't take place until the Jewish people are firmly implanted on their home soil in Eretz Yisrael, which is the act of Hanacha, when Hashem finally places the Jewish people in Eretz Yisrael, which happens 40 years later. That's the final act of Hanacha, which is the true uh, affecting of the Hotza of Mitzrayim, of Yitzias Mitzrayim. So uh, we'll play a, a new nigin, um, which speaks to this idea of, ki, the, the words are, ki b'simcha teitzeinu v'shalom tuvalun, that really talking about this final ex, uh, exile, the, the movement from exile back to Eretz Yisrael takes place when we're ki besimcha and it's true that to a certain extent we leave exile with simcha, but until shalom tuvalun, until we come back to Eretz Yisrael, there's really only uh, so much that we can have of the shleimus, of the shalom of Geula.